very much the cultures, of course, working with very different peoples, um, from even between New York and um, and Chicago. You know, there's, the New Yorker is a very different person from the Chicago, and and then you have all the all the ethnic backgrounds come into it from you know Puerto Ricans and then uh, Chicago's more, more Mexican influence so it makes it very unique let alone just in one country um, but of course coming to work in mainland China and Beijing uh, Tokyo obviously a very different culture it, it's taught me um, you know it, it, it it's again taught me how to manage diversity, um, which I think I manage the same in every property I've been in. Is uh, but that it's very much if you treat people with respect and you give them the understanding, I think that works for every culture. In other words, you don't try and again push your views and your opinions too quickly into a property. You have to take and understand the culture first and then start the process of change if the change is necessary. So it's, um, and obviously working these different locations has made me realize that that's how to do it and sort of the complexity by it. I think our properties do change to reflect the times and that's recognized through the new properties and the renovations. Um, I know this hotel, the Peninsula Hong Kong, hopefully next year will start a renovation of the main tower rooms. So I think and then there will be a revitalization of the restaurants, and I know that's sort of the plan in the next so many years. And of course this is the Grand Dam, you know, there's a, uh, the history comes from this property and the group. But the history is also the hinge point of, of why the group is successful, uh, because it's taught us, especially coming from the chairman, about you know, we're all just lucky to be part of this ongoing um, development of this company, you know, which has been in the making since 1866 <laughs> and, and will continue to be in being recreating itself for, for the next hundred years. Um, and, and so we're just passers by. So I think that's where we have developed our, our, rec our brand and, and um, for a timeless classic rather like um, you know if you look at some of the, the other top brands in the world which are sort of uh, the Louis Vuittons and the Hermes you know they, they've got hundreds of years of history behind them uh, because they're, they're developing um, through the ages and as, as we are so with our new properties you know like the Prince of Tokyo the Prince of Shanghai or Paris um, yeah, it always has that backbone of what's seen as luxury and maybe you refer to as colonial, but at the same time each property moves with the modern times. Obviously we're known for our technological development and our in-room in -room experience, and um, but also our restaurants and our concepts are changing all the time as seen in Peter in Tokyo and in Sir Ellie's in, uh, in Shanghai. So I th we're, we're moving always with the times, but maybe we're not trying to be too much in advance. And that's where other hotels undo themselves as a, maybe as a, as a brand or as a group because they're running too fast and then their, their concepts probably don't suddenly become dated more quicker than ours.